All right, welcome to Golden Edge. It's our sit-down portion, our first inaugural interview. We're kind of going through some of the Golden Knights players, and we kind of want to introduce them to Las Vegas and to the, really the, the country. Um, one man who really doesn't need a whole lot of introduction to Las Vegas, Derek England. Um, obviously, you you played in Las Vegas when you were you know down in the minors and whatnot. One of the things I kind of wonder about is how surreal is it the fact that you're playing professionally in the NHL in Las Vegas after spending that time with the Wranglers? Yeah, back then, um, you know, you don't ever expect uh, NHL to come here. Um, you, you know, I knew with the East Coast, they drew drew fans well for the coast, and uh, it was a great city, a lot of lot of fan support. But at the time, it was you know the the gambling thing and all that was an issue, and so you never really thought about it, and never really crossed your mind until. Uh, you know, it, it got out there that Vegas is looking and Bill Foley uh, has done an amazing job uh, with the ticket drive and everything like that. And you knew the support would be there with, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the city from from different uh, states, different countries that are more hockey related. And um, I think that's helped to help the game grow a lot here. Man, the, I mean, the atmosphere inside of T-Mobile is sick. Um, obviously, you played in the Orleans. I covered the team back in the day. Like, I moved here in 2004, so I covered, like, 2004, 2005, when the team went to the, I don't know what the Stanley Cup equivalent is in the in, uh, Is it Kelly NCHL. Cup? I think Kelly that's Cup? what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The team was good. Like, they got, I think they yeah. went maybe two straight years. But did you foresee the type of atmosphere that T-Mobile is? I mean, after playing in the Orleans and kind of getting a decent crowd, but, I mean, it, it's pretty sick inside T-Mobile. Yeah, no, the, the Orleans, like, like I said, for the coast, it was uh, a really good atmosphere, a lot of fans. Uh, you know, I think we averaged the first two years like 5,500, and um, so for the for the East Coast, that was awesome. And um, the atmosphere in T-Mobile is just uh, for for regular season game, game after game, it just uh, surprises you every game how how loud the environment's uh, fun to play in. Uh, uh, you know, it just gets you going. Now, as a Las Vegan, um, I want to say I, I really appreciated your words of the opening night. Um, one of our, uh, our beat writers, you know, said when he came back, it's like, man, such heartfelt words by Derek. Um, had him emotional. How, what have you heard from you know, maybe players or, or just people out in the community uh, from what you said, you know, opening night, kind of addressing the crowd and what had happened? Yeah, uh, a lot of guys off teams have uh, like, told me a great, great job with the speech, that type of thing. It's usually during the game, so it's just quick. But... Um, you know, I see people around the rink or around the city that uh, if they recognize you, they, that's one of the first things they say is uh, the speech was uh, meant a lot to them and, and the city of Las Vegas. And um, just to be able to pull it off, first thing, I don't talk very well in front of a lot of people. <laughs> oh, so, no, you did fine. Okay. Um, no, I went really well and uh, I'm, I'm extremely happy that, it, uh, that I got the chance to do it and do it. Okay, now this is kind of the... the fun portion of the interview. Like, I, I want to ask questions that aren't like the whole hockey thing. By the way, good work last night with yeah. the goal. I think you guys lost, but I mean, good work with the Thank goal you. last yeah. night. Um, this is something I, I noticed, and it kind of shocked me. From watching uh, college hockey to the pros, you guys dress really nice. Like, I, what's the deal with hockey players and fashion? Is it like a European thing? I mean, I know you're not European, but I mean, like, what's the deal with hockey players and how you guys look? These guys dress pretty, pretty yeah, dapper. Yeah, I think, well, it's... Rules, rules first of all. So you have to wear suits and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I think guys, uh, I'm not a big fashion guy. My, yeah. <laughs> my wife usually uh, picks those out for me. But uh, you know, a lot of guys take it uh, to the next level with some of the stuff they pull off. No, I would agree completely. Um, so, out of your teammates, I mean, you're not a big fashion guy. But who do you think is like the snappiest guy? Like who? Who are the guys in the locker room like, okay, this guy, he's go over, either over the top with it, like he's trying to dress too nice, or he just does a really good job? Uh, i probably have to say, uh, Neeler or Belly, probably two that put uh, put a lot of thought into it. Uh, <laughs> if you ask Neeler, Schmidty's not doing a very good job okay. with, uh, with his choices, but uh, you know, I'll let them battle that out. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, I did a, a bit with James Neal last week, like really the day right before he got his teeth. As a, as a fellow hockey player and a teammate, I mean, how tough was it to kind of watch your teammate kind of go through that? Like, goodness gracious, like, he just gets his teeth fixed, he gets knocked out. Then the game, when he comes back, he gets hit in the mouth twice, I think, by a high stick after getting his teeth fixed. Yeah, I think uh, for a hockey player, I think it's more, it's not even losing him. It's the procedures you have to go through afterwards, the, 
the hours you have to spend in the dentist chair for uh, just to get them fixed or just get them prepared to get them fixed. So um, I think every guy's probably been close or have lost teeth and during hockey and it's probably the uh, sitting in the dentist chair that's the biggest pain. I got you. I talked to Eric Howell about that. He's like, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> I don't lose my pretty he, he would say that for sure. He's the pretty boy? Uh, he tries, <laughs> tries to be. <laughs> okay. Um, so obviously, like again, you've been in Vegas. You, you were in Vegas uh, a while back. Uh, what's your favorite place to eat at? Maybe with your wife or what's a restaurant? Um, like, that's my spot. Yeah, off the strip. Anywhere in Las Vegas. Uh, you go to the Strip, there's hundreds of places that are awesome. But off the Strip, I'd probably have to say Vintner Grill. Okay. It's uh, just off Charleston and Indigo, maybe. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. We go there quite a bit for date night and stuff like that. I got so. you. I got you. Yeah. It, it, what do you get? You got, uh, you I like try to change guy? it up. Yeah, I try to change it up. They're, they got a good uh, cheese and meat platter to begin with. A uh, lot of selections so of that. And, um, you know, I, I don't think I've had anything bad there. It's it's all pretty good. It's a uh, good atmosphere. It's it's nice. Uh, they've got a nice patio and everything, so it's uh, it, it's fun to go there. All right, all right, all right, cool. Now, um, I, I wonder about this. Who is the best skater in your team? Like, fastest skater, he, you know, gets forwards, uh, backwards, moves really well? The fastest, probably Halla. Straight, straight line. He's, yeah, he's probably, probably our fastest skater by far. Um, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. I guess fastest and best kind of go hand in hand somewhat. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he skates backwards as good as uh, some other guys, but uh, straight line for sure him. Um, agile, I don't know. I wonder about this, I think a lot of people wonder about this with hockey players and how you guys learn how to skate, because you almost think of it as an afterthought, the fact that you guys skate so well, like how nice of a skill that is. Did you practice as a youth, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, what kind of stuff did you do? Just the skating aspect. From, from pitchers, you know, back in the day, my, my dad made a rink in the backyard, and by the time you're walking, they're throwing skates on, and you're pushing a chair around the backyard for me. And, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of guys, I think, have probably grow, grown up the same, you know, just throw skates on, go out there. You know, you see guys out here uh, after practice with their kids out on the ice and just teaching them how to skate at a young age. The, the younger they they get it, uh, the quicker they're going to become a better skater, I guess. All right, cool. Two more questions. One, favorite movie? Favorite movie. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, you can give me genre if you want, like maybe a favorite action, favorite comedy if you want, but yeah, I can go to. Big Rounders fan. That's a good movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one off the poker top of my head. Though. Yeah, okay, I, I like right. poker, yeah. All right, all right, a little no-limit yeah. poker yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I got different ones for, you know, The Hangover's always a good one from oh, Vegas, you know, for yeah. comedy, but the original one, the first one. Oh, yeah, but, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that one's kind of good. Yeah, yeah. yeah same, same thing, you know. It's tough, right. tough to recreate that. It, it really is, it yeah. really is. And lastly, your favorite city in the U.S. minus Las Vegas, obviously you live here. To play, like, favorite just, road city? Yeah, just, yeah, I, I love... It's, Probably f for visiting, probably say Chicago for everything. It's uh, yeah, it's um, it's got good restaurants, good shopping. Um, the the rink is great. The atmosphere is you know top top in the league. Probably it's a, it's a fun building to play in. It's big too. I remember the first time I walked in the United States. I was like, goodness gracious, this thing yeah. is huge. Yeah, it's 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 great. Right, right from the national anthem, everyone oh, cheering right. during that's it. Right. It just right. uh, it gets you going for All sure. Right. Hey, folks, uh, this is our first sit-down interview for our Golden Edge show. Derek England, nice enough to come up, oh, and no I really problem. appreciate it. Anytime, anytime. Thank you very much. Awesome.